Hi, Helen from crystalsandcrochet.com here. Welcome to part two of Revelation. Remember to download the PDF from the website so that you've got um, all the details of all the stitch counts for each round because I don't necessarily cover the full stitch counts. Okay, let's get started. Okay, round 26. And we are going to be working into round 24. Okay, round 25 was the front post and singles. So round 24, the 13th single crochet of any repeat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. Okay, so that should be the first of those four single crochet. Okay, we've got two in that stitch, so that's our increase. Then we've got four, so the 13th one should be the first of those four. Okay, we're going to skip the next two stitches and make two double crochet in the next five stitches. So the first two go into that last single crochet. Okay, and then we've got two in each of these three and two in the first single crochet there. Okay, so two double crochet in each of those five stitches. Then we're going to skip the next two stitches and single crochet in the next three. Two single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so those three are into this single crochet, those two that are made into that one stitch and then our increase comes in the single cro crochet after the increase. A single in the next two. Two single crochet in the next stitch, which is the one before the next. There's our increase. Okay, so that's the one before. And then we're going to single crochet in the next three. Okay, which leaves us three single crochet at that end. Okay, so that's our repeat, nice and simple. Skip two, two double crochet in the next five stitches, so that's the single, each of the trebles, and that next single. Skip two, we've then got single in three, two in the next one, single in two, two in the next one, single in three. Okay, so go ahead and do that 12 times. Omit the last single crochet because you've already made that at the beginning and join to that standing single crochet with a slip stitch. Round 27. Okay, so we are going to be working with two colours again. Get my tail end out of the way. So, the as I said before, the best way to work with two colours is to keep one colour to your right and one colour to your left so that you don't end up getting them tangled. Okay, so this time, um, colour one is our chalk, our white yarn, colour two is uh, raisin. Okay, so lay colour two over colour one and then we're going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitch making sure that we're trapping colour two in the bottom of that stitch. Okay, so it's in there at the bottom. Okay, whoops, 
Oops, pull that tail end out a little bit longer. Righty ho, so working over colour two, we are going to single crochet in the next five stitches, completing the fifth colour, fifth stitch with colour number two. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so to complete the stitch we're going to come in and pull up our loop, drop colour number one, pick up colour number two, and complete the stitch. We're then going to front post double treble three together over the next three trebles from round 25. Okay, so yarn over three times for a double treble round the post and through two, one, two, three times. So we've got two loops. Yarn over three times, around, and then one, two, three times. We've got three loops now. Yarn over three times, through once, twice, three times. Okay, so we've got four loops on our hook now. Yarn over through all four loops and we're meant to complete that with colour number one so let's just pop that back pick up colour number one and complete the stitch okay right <clears throat> working over colour number two we're going to single crochet in the next 22 stitches so just make sure that you don't skip that first stitch okay so pull everything over to the side so that you can see it clearly okay and we're going to work over color number two and make 22 single okay, crochet so i've got 21 to that point and if you look at the back you can see where the colour that you're working over can pop out. So just as you make this stitch where you need to complete, just very, very gently pull. Okay, not tight, don't yank on it, just gently pull it so that any loops or lumps and bumps at the back there disappear. Okay. And again, when you complete this stitch, if you pull on that one, it will bring everything together. Okay, so. Our repeat starts with our front post double treble three together over the three treble from round 25. And you complete that stitch with colour number one. Obviously that one's made with colour number two. So complete it with um, colour one. You're then going to single crochet in the next 22 stitches, completing the 22nd stitch with colour number two. Okay, and make sure that when you've made this three together, you don't skip, skip, skip this stitch behind. Okay, all the way round, join to your first single crochet, fasten off and secure all the ends. So fasten off both colours and secure all your ends. Round 28 and we are going to join with a standing single crochet in the 19th single of any repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so we've got three single crochet left before the front post double treble. Okay, 
So we're going to skip those next three stitches and we are going to make seven treble into the next stitch which is the front post double treble three together. So because we're stretching to avoid the top loop of the treble being loose we're just going to yarn over once into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and through two, pinch, take your hook out, pick up that slack yarn and pop your hook back into the loop through two and through two. Okay, so we've got a nice neat top loop there. Okay, so seven treble all into that same stitch. Okay, seven treble. We're then going to skip the next three stitches. So make sure that you don't skip an extra one. One, two, three. And we are then going to single crochet in the next four stitches. Two single crochet in the next, single in the next six, two, three, four, five, and six. Two single crochet in the next, and then single crochet in the next four. Which again will bring you back to the beginning of the repeat. You've got three single crochet left there before the next front post double treble three together okay so skip three seven treble don't worry if everything curls over and looks wonky it will all flatten out seven treble all made into your front post double treble three together skip three single in four two single in the next single in six two in the next single in four Okay, all the way round, omit the last single crochet on the last repeat because you've already made that. Join to that standing single crochet, fasten off and secure your ends. Round 29. Okay, we're going to join with a standing single crochet in the 16th single crochet of any repeat. So we've got 18 in total. So 16 is third from the end. Okay. And then our repeat. Skip the next two stitches. That's the last two single crochets. Then we're going to make a two double crochet cluster in the next stitch. So yarn over into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and through two. Okay, so we're only making sort of half of a double crochet. And repeat, yarn over, in, through two. So we've got three loops on a hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three. So that is a double crochet, two together. Okay, we're then going to chain one and two double crochet cluster in the next stitch. And we're going to do that six times, okay? So you've got a total of seven two double crochet clusters and six chain one spaces. Then skip the next two stitches, which is the first two single crochets. Single crochet in six. Three, four, five, six, 
five and six. Okay, two single crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet in seven. Okay, so do be aware that that is a little bit uneven if you like. So it's six, then two into the one stitch and then seven. Okay, so you've got a total of 15 single crochet there. Okay, six, two in the next one, one in each of the next seven. Okay, so don't forget skip two before and after the shell and then it's two double crochet cluster and then chain one, two double crochet cluster six times. All the way round, join to the standing single crochet, fasten off and secure your ends. Round 30. Okay, we're going to join with a standing single crochet in the eighth single crochet of any repeat. Okay, so we did six, that one's seven, so number eight is the second single crochet of that increase that we did. Okay, we're then going to single crochet in the next five stitches. Three, four, and five. Okay, so we've got two single crochet left there. We're going to skip the next three stitches, which is the two single crochet and that first cluster. Okay, we're then going to make three double crochet into the next chain one space. And then skip the next stitch. Okay, and we're going to do that five times. Okay, so three double crochet into the chain one space, skip the next stitch five times. Okay, so our fifth repeat brings us to here. We've skipped this last stitch. So we're then going to make three double, oops, three double crochet in the next chain one space. And we're then going to skip the next three stitches. So the cluster and one, two single crochet. And we're then going to single crochet in the next 11 stitches. Okay, so the repeat's quite simple. We're going to skip three stitches, the two single crochet and the cluster. You're then going to make three double crochet in the chain one space and skip the next stitch one, two, three, four, five times three double crochet in that next chain one space, then skip the next three, single crochet in the next 11. Okay, work all the way round. On that last repeat, your 12th repeat, you've already made six single crochet, so you're going to omit those from that last repeat and join to the standing single crochet with a slip stitch. Okay, and again, don't worry if this is starting to curl up, everything will flatten out over the next couple of rounds. Mm -hmm.